New Gloff asks, Orthodox do call the uni at St. Josephat a murderer. Curious to hear your take. Any thoughts there? Yes, yes. Uh, as we've discussed before, I've, I've researched this in quite, quite a bit of depth. I still need to take the time to write up everything I found. My problem mm -hmm. is my job is all consuming right now. Like sure. I'm so consumed with my, my work in, in higher education that I don't have time to put this together, but I delved into this and here's what I found. So the Orthodox charges claiming that St. Joseph Fat was a murderer and a killer all come from a letter supposedly written by the Chancellor of Poland, whose name escapes me at the moment. Mm -hmm. And they cite this letter in which the Chancellor of Poland is writing to St. Josephat and supposedly accuses him of beheading people and drowning people and killing people. Mm. And I was very curious about this because I found something. Yeah. So this, this Chancellor of Poland, uh, again, he's a well-known figure historically, but I forget his name at the moment. He supposedly wrote this letter accusing St. Joseph out of being a murderer, a killer, a monster, a monster. But when St. Joseph Fett was martyred, when he was killed by a, an enraged mob, when he was killed by an enraged mob, the same Chancellor of Poland is the one who led the charge for his canonization. Mm. He was the one who actually was the main uh, proponent of St. Joseph Fett's cause for canonization in Rome. Now, that doesn't make any sense, does it? If he was writing to St. Joseph at accusing him of being a murderer and a butcher, why would he be going to Rome and championing his cause for canonization as a saint? Mm -hmm. So that made me delve deeper. And I started looking for, for copies of this letter that exist in places other than the internet, because a number of Orthodox websites of the fundamentalist variety, you know, the, the anti-Catholic websites have this letter on there and they, they quote it profusely. Um, but I looked for it in books and in volumes, and I found different translations of this letter uh, in volumes from you know 50 years ago, 80 years ago, 100 years ago, in English and in French. Mm -hmm. As far as I can tell, I think it was originally written in French, but I have to delve even deeper to, to know that for certain because I haven't gotten to the bottom of this just yet. Mm -hmm. But in all of the older translations I found going back decades, many decades, and multiple sources, that line, in which he accuses St. Joseph Fat of being a murderer, of beheading people and drowning people, that line is not in the letter. Mm -hmm. It's not. There is a line in which he responds to St. Joseph Fat and says, I know you're worried that if we don't support you, that people will be drowned and beheaded. Mm -hmm. So he says it to St. Joseph Fat as a, as a concern that St. Joseph Fat has. He's concerned that people will be drowned and, and beheaded if there is a support from the government. Mm -hmm. Um, but nowhere does he accuse St. Joseph Fett of being a murderer, of drowning people and beheading them. <clears throat> that doesn't appear anywhere in the letter in these older versions that I saw in print. And that's the key thing. They're in print. They're not on a web page. So what I need to do is trace this thing back as far as I can find it and um, see if I can find the oldest extant copy of the letter anywhere and see what it actually says. But from what I can tell, every copy of this letter out there going back before the dawn of the internet, not a single one of them says anything about him murdering people. From what I gather, what actually happened was when the internet became a thing and mm -hmm. orthodox apologists decided to use it to their advantage, some of the more dishonest ones took that letter and either mistakenly mistranslated it mm -hmm. or purposely mistranslated it to use it as a tool to accuse St. Joseph out of horrendous crimes that he never actually committed. Oh wait, before you go, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel. This is my primary means to provide for my family and it also helps me to produce content like this video. If you would like to support me, become a patron by visiting patreon.com forward slash reason and theology. You'll also get access to extra exclusive content when you become a patron. Lastly, hit that like button and the subscribe button and be sure to leave a comment down below. God bless.